the oceans. The cauldron of life. Life emerged from here. Driven by the sun's energy, the oceans support diverse and complex ecosystems, ranging from the most fragile coral reefs to the oldest and most resilient wetland forest on the planet. The mangroves. protectors of our coastlines. A product of millions of years of evolution. Adapted to the saline intertidal zones Mangroves are the most productive and biodiverse wetland forests on Earth. Found mainly in the tropical and subtropical regions of the world, these coastal ecosystems cover an estimated area of 15.2 million hectares. These tropical coastlines support the world's richest biological diversity and primary productivity, supporting the livelihoods of millions of people across the world. growing where the ocean meets land. Mangroves create a natural barrier against coastal erosion, storms and wave surges. Mangrove forests remain partially submerged for hours once or twice a day the tide moves out exposing the intertidal surface including the mangrove's unique aerial roots these spike-like structures called New metaphors are designed to absorb air quickly while the roots are uncovered by the tide. These roots can keep out over 90% of the salts from the water they absorb. The salt that does enter the plant is excreted. Some mangrove species have special cells in the leaves, resulting in salt crystals appearing on the leaf surface, which eventually drop back into the sea. Mangrove leaves are also specially adapted. They avoid the harsh midday sun by changing their orientation. This shields them and limits water loss through evaporation. According to experts, every year, mangrove forests contribute more than 18 million metric tons to the long-term storage of carbon globally. Mangroves and coral reefs share a symbiotic relationship. The tangled network of mangrove roots 
trap muddy sediments, preventing them from reaching the coral reefs and smothering them. The corals, in turn, act as a barrier and protect the mangroves from the strong wave surges. Coral reefs and mangroves are each home to hundreds of species of fish. The mangroves also provide a refuge and habitat for some commercially important reef fish during the earlier stages of their life cycle. Many mangrove species let their seeds germinate while still attached to the tree. This increases their chances of survival. When ready, they drop off and stick in the mud or float around till they find a suitable anchor. These adaptations help the mangroves to propagate rapidly and expand the forests. Detritus and other protein-rich food from the mangroves sustain millions of crabs, prawns and young fish. The tangled network of roots is a natural nursery for many species. A secure home for thousands of life forms. Almost 20% of India's population lives within 50 kilometers of these coastlines and depend on the oceans for their livelihood. Mangroves cover almost 4,639 square kilometers of India's coastline. 39 species of mangroves and 89 associate species can be found here. On the eastern coast of India and the western coast of Bangladesh lies the largest mangrove ecosystem in the world, the Sundarbans. A UNESCO World Heritage Site and a Biosphere Reserve. The Sundarban Delta is home to 58 species of mammals, including the tiger. All adapted to the saline and harsh conditions of the mangrove forests. The shallow intertidal Blood pulse zone of the mangroves is a crucial support system for myriad life forms. A natural nursery ground providing safety and rich nutrients for the growing young fish. Each year during the monsoons the rain washes down nutrients from the mangroves into the oceans. Here, prawns and fish nurture themselves on detritus, larvae and other highly nutritious food items derived from the mangroves. Within a few weeks, fed on this rich diet, their size can increase almost seven times. The Bay of Bengal acts like a basin, allowing nutrients to build up. River discharge water and the huge mass of organic nutrients added from the mangroves creates one of the world's largest brackish water zones, enabling these species to survive, yielding around 2 million tons of fish every year. If the mangroves disappear, much of this productivity would disappear too.
The mangroves of Sundarbans support nearly 3.2 million people, local communities that have lived here for thousands of years. Communities that have made these mangrove forests their homes. More than 400,000 fishermen earn their livelihoods from the mangrove deltas in India. The mangrove forests of the Sundarban also provide natural resources, including food, firewood, timber, alluvial rich fertile land for farming, and honey gathering. Numerous medicines are also derived from mangrove, useful for skin and stomach disorders, ulcers, and even some cancers. But the coastal communities are worried. Fish catches are falling, and many species are disappearing. Coastal and marine resources are dwindling at an alarming rate. In spite of their ecological importance, mangroves are today under great pressure. In many parts of the world, mangroves are still being destroyed and degraded at an alarming rate. Over the last three decades, the global areas of mangroves is shrinking. This is mostly due to deforestation, degradation, freshwater diversion and conversion to other land uses like intensive shrimp farming and agriculture. Added to this, human populations along the coastlines have increased. Today, almost 60% of the world's population lives in coastal cities and settlements. Huge areas of mangrove forests have been cleared to make way for residential areas, coastal industries, and roads. As forests disappear, communities have to penetrate deeper into the forest to gather firewood. Agricultural runoff, organic and inorganic pollution caused by chemicals and heavy siltation have killed many species of flora and fauna. Some species of fish have disappeared and others are now very rare. During the past 50 years, over 40% of mangrove cover has been lost worldwide, and the losses continue year by year. In India too, mangroves was severely threatened. Fortunately, over the last few years, post tsunami, awareness and importance of mangrove ecosystems has been growing, leading to legislative changes, protection, and better management of these valuable and vital resources. In Gujarat, on the western coast of India. 90% of mangroves are located around the Gulf of Kutch, while the rest of the mangroves are found in the Gulf of Kambat on the south coast. Jumabhai, a former forest guard and a resident of Jamnagar, one of the most industrialized towns of Gujarat, has witnessed the changes. The mangrove were the 82 में सभी खत्म हो गए थे मिंग्रो कोई जगह क्रिक के किनारे जो थोड़े बहुत बचे थे वो थे लेकिन ऊपर जो मड फ्लेट पे वो सब खत्म हो गए थे नौलोखी से लेके ओखा तक के मिंग्रो सब भी साफ हो गए थे मिंग्रो में जो ग्रेजिंग होता था कैमल के जरिए और ये जलाने के लिए लकड़ी भी ले जाते थे काट के तो वो दोनों बंद हो गया तो उसके बाद मिंग्रो में ज्यादा स्पीड आई जर्मिनेशन की और उसके बाद बढ़ने लगे तो आज समझो ये एरिया जो पूरा है यहाँ पे भी और 
नवलखी से ओखा तक वो सभी जो ओपन हो गए थे वो अभी मैंग्रोव आ गए उधर लॉस ऑफ मैंग्रोव कवर एंड रेस्टोरेशन ऑफ द फ्रेगमेंटेड इको सिस्टम रिक्वायर साइंटिफिक इंटरवेंशन एंड स्ट्रेटजीज टू स्टॉप लैंड लॉस एंड इंट्रूजन ऑफ सी वाटर The Indian government along with the state forest department has initiated a major mangrove plantation drive along the coast. The project aims to restore the fragmented areas and conserve existing mangrove forests with the help of local communities and volunteers. This goal of uh, mangrove conservation mangrove uh, forestation we plant in more than 10000 hectare this year. so it's a comprehensive approach uh, of the local people the ngos fire department uh, and uh, that we, uh, result we can see in uh, 15 years you know we have more mangrove um, two and half times periodic monitoring of the area is carried on rare species of mangroves are identified and protected a nursery alongside provides saplings to replace mangroves that are old or dead पहले हम लोग का छोटा था मालूम पड़ता कि ये कितना कितना फायदा है अभी ये पूरा हम लोग ये आखा गांव का किना किना पत्ता है ना ग्रीन हो गया ग्रीन हो गया मतलब पूरा वृक्ष का बड़ा बड़ा हो गया वृक्ष बड़ा बड़ा हो गया तो हमको गांव के लिए इतना फायदा हो गया कि भाई फिशिंग के फिशिंग का भी थोड़ा जो क्रैच ला ना क्रैच ला गाँव पैर में रहता है वो पैर मतलब झाड़ के नीचे रहता है तो बहुत बहुत एक आदमी कम से कम पाँच पाँच किलो लेके आता है दो किलो पाँच किलो तीन किलो ऐसे लेके आता है तो मतलब एक दिन का उन लोग कम से कम डेढ़ सौ रुपये का लोग रोजी रोटी मिल जाता है वो फायदा है रेगुलर सेमिनार्स वर्कशॉप्स एंड फील्ड विजिट्स हैव हेल्प्ड स्पेशली द लोकल यूथ एंड वेमेन फ्रॉम द विलेजेस टू अंडरस्टैंड द रोल ऑफ मैंग्रोव इन देर लाइफ मैनी सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स have also been formed along the coast line to help build awareness among the people and involve them in the mangrove restoration activities restoration work is now being carried out in many locations where mangroves were once more abundant the objective is to restore the degraded and fragmented mangrove forests many small nurseries have also been established around the coast line to supply mangrove seedlings in sundarbans alone over 3500 kilometers of degraded embankments have already been afforested in an effort to stabilize the mud flats and embankments mangroves of the future is led by IUCN and the United Nations Development Program but it involves many other agencies and partners It is assisting India and seven other member countries of the region to share information and take collective action to improve the sustainable management of the coastal zone. It emphasizes the importance of investing in coastal ecosystems as a form of natural infrastructure where the value of the goods and services that mangroves and coral reefs provide is actually much greater than most of us appreciate and certainly it's vital that policymakers have a true picture of the real cost of converting these valuable ecosystems before they approve development projects but the challenges ahead are formidable government efforts alone cannot be successful the collaborative efforts and participation of communities dependent on these forests is crucial to ensure successful propagation and conservation of these young forests Joint mangrove management programs have also been set up to create alternate livelihood options for the villagers. The women run the mangrove nurseries and ensure a regular supply of seedlings. The awareness camps and regular intervention have also helped the villagers understand the link between the mangroves and their own lives and the protection these forests offer. against natural disasters 
আমরা সবাই মিলে মানে এই যে প্রতিশ্রুতি নিয়েছি আমরা চারা তৈরি করব চা মানে গাছে সবুজে ভরিয়ে দেব সব জায়গা যত কষ্ট হোক আমরা যার জন্যে মানে খুব চেষ্টায় আছি এরপরেও যদি আমাদের এর বেশি চারা তৈরি করতে বলেন সাহায্য সুযোগ দেন আমরা তাতেও প্রস্তুত আমরা চারা তৈরি করছি এবং দু টাকা পিস হিসাবে সেই চারা ওনারাও ফরেস্টে নেবেন এবং যদি বাইরে কোনো অর্ডার টর্ডার থাকে সেখানেও আমরা এই চারা দেব দিয়ে তবু আগে যেমন ছিলাম তার চেয়ে আমরা এখন অনেকটাই সুফল হয়েছি and local communities for the maintenance and protection of these plantations. This is beginning to yield results. People do realize that mangroves perform multiple functions, not only providing the food security for coastal communities and coastal fauna, not only human beings, but other animals and so on, ecological security for coastal areas and uh, above all uh, the livelihood security of the people in that area. Therefore, I am confident mangroves for the future uh, is a very timely initiative and will, be, and will meet with great success. Scientists have been working to cope with the increasing salinity of water. Genes from the mangroves are now helping in the introduction of new varieties of crops that are saline tolerant. A new discovery where mangrove genes could help us address the food security problem of the future. Mangroves, uh, since they can grow in a mixture of seawater and fresh water, has uh, genes which are responsible for salinity tolerance. Today, with the help of modern biotechnology, those genes have been identified and transferred to very good rice varieties like Punni, IR64, and many pulse, pulses, they have therefore opened up a new opportunity for farmers in coastal regions. Along Tamil Nadu's 950 kilometers of coastline, the major mangrove wetlands are at Pichavaram and in the Muthupet region. Over 237 tons of fish is harvested from these wetlands annually, mostly for export. Thousands of local fishermen, including some of the weakest marginal communities, depend on these mangroves for their sustenance. Some families in the Muthupet region still practice a unique 200-year-old technique, an interdependence between the mangroves and fishery development, canal fishing. These man-made canals allow free flow of fresh tidal water, which decreases soil salinity. This helps the mangrove plants to establish and propagate. Fish and prawns too proliferate under these conducive conditions. Traditional wisdom, helping in the sustainable management and utilization of the mangrove ecosystem and its resources. Community participation and scientific management of plantations is making a difference. Mangrove forests in India have increased from 4,000 square kilometers to over 4,600 square kilometers over the past 20 years. The government of India would take all possible steps to work with the local communities to increase the mangrove cover. In the long run, create uh, a sustainable system for the preservation and even uh, increase in the mangrove cover. The progress in India in terms of the collective interest to restore and conserve the mangroves is very good. So in specific locations, and many of the states of India are a very good example. There are great successes, but we have to scale up those successes and disseminate them more effectively to the countries and areas that are still losing mangrove. In our ignorance, we may have destroyed the most powerful and abundant natural resource, threatening not only our own food security, 
but even jeopardizing the lives of over 3 billion people on the planet. Fortunately, we are the only species on Earth that can reverse that damage. The urgent need is for a collective effort on mangrove restoration and protection. To return the ecosystem to health and restore the balance between man and nature. The collaborative effort by the government, civil society organizations, communities and global agencies like the IUCN and the Mangroves for the Future initiative will help mangroves to recover and regain their equilibrium ensuring a sustainable and secure future not only for millions of people but also for the silent guardians and protectors of our coastlines the mangroves